not too bad of a day. At least temperature-wise, and there's some sunshine. It looked like it was gonna rain earlier, but I think it was just because it was low clouds. I saw something very interesting and potentially concerning on the Juice Facebook or the Hyper Scrambler 2 Facebook group. Uh, apparently, someone had their uh, the motor cable that actually goes into the motor. They had somebody take their uh, back wheel off to change the tire and they said it was, the wires were actually melting the axle. He has pictures of it. Actually, it was a response to my response, my initial response. Because I got to thinking about it, I'm like, wait a minute. The wires have fairly thick shielding on them. So they would... I'm not understanding how it would get that hot to melt an axle before it would just, like, burn all of the rubber from the wiring cover off and if it did that since it would then be touching metal would it not short because I'm pretty sure you touch bare metal with live wires you're gonna get a short which I mean that could lead to heat but still at the same time yeah I really don't get how it be how it would be operational at all. I mean I don't have like detailed close-ups of the exact thing that happened. But I'm not saying the guy that has this habit is being dishonest about it. Obviously it's not because it did happen. I'm just trying to wrap my brain around the mechanical and electrical side of it. They got me kind of worried about my bike, but with my bike, I think if something like that were to have been going on, I would have noted it would have happened like long ago since I've got almost 2.5k miles on it. And I took a look, I didn't take the wheel off because I know how much of a pain in the butt these wheels are to take on and put off. I did give it a look over and it's, there's nothing out, looking out of the ordinary on mine. Again, I am not a professional. or electrical sense, so I could be wrong, and mine could 
be doing that right now. Doubt it. And I did say that I would be doing this and keeping an eye. You probably can't see like in detail of what I'm going to be pointing at, but right here it tells me the temperature of the controller. Right now it's at 40 Celsius. Operational temperature like within within normal parameters for these is like ambient temperature up to like 60 or 70 Celsius which is really warm that's like to put it in perspective my graphics card my computer which is a 3070 idols at around 47, 48 Celsius. And it can get up to 70 Celsius. Or higher, depending on what I'm doing with it. Usually it's only that high if I'm like running a benchmark or a stress test. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that now. That was a very good PSA that he did on that. Huh.
Oh, and there will be obviously some fall foliage around pretty much wherever I ride at now. So it's it's kind of like someone flicked the switch after October hit. It's like, okay, everything's gonna start falling off the leaves now. Or, change that first 50 subscribers like okay hey we're only 13 away from that it's like i don't know what was going on last night but i got uh, almost 10 subscribers yesterday so welcome to the channel thank you for subscribing Pretty good shot of hitting that 100 by the end of the month. And for Friday's video, I'm either going to go over some e bike laws. Just based on that email I got from Juice last week about how most of the states use the class one, two, and three for e bikes, but some are stubborn for whatever reason and have their kind of own laws and rules and all that. But I just go over to like, it would be, I would try to keep that a quicker, quicker video. Eh. I know the algorithm might not like the quicker videos, but it's like longer videos have better chance of getting higher watch time. So. And you need lots of watch time. 4,000 hours of it. And I've got like 200 and some hours of it so far. one thing with like doing a channel like this there's not really a whole lot of ways to make a solid comparison to like say how your channel is doing because I mean it's I mean YouTube gives you like little things every once in a while when you hit certain milestones it's like you got 3,000 views. People are really loving your videos. Like, okay. Or it's like, add something about watch hours. I think 100 watch hours, it was like, people are choosing to watch your videos more often. Like, yep, okay. 
there's nothing that like just cuts all the crap and like tells you based on like based on similar content that's being put up on YouTube your channel is doing good or well or okay or not so good that would probably be pretty hard to do that though. they got enough algorithm problems to worry about as it is let's not give them any more to worry about oh and the sky is starting kind of that gray it did earlier today but they're just low black clouds pretty much species of trees I guess are really stubborn and don't like to start losing their leaves until like November. At least around here I, I can't speak for the rest of the country or the world.
also like to think if my axle was being melted, considering the amount of like at least smaller bumps and the bigger bumps I go over, I'm pretty sure it would have cracked it by now. Because I mean the axle's thick, but it's not like a car axle thick. Yesterday was Columbus Day. It's um, filming this on a Tuesday. Yesterday was the 11th.
town pronounced Ruchi. Don't ask me why they pronounce it like that. I was trying to do. do a time lapse for the rest of this. Thanks for watching.